What's up guys welcome back to the channel in this video i want to take a step back and appreciate what it is that i have that not most do what that thing is is the opportunity to go into the city and take fantastic street photography videos i'm gassing myself up i don't mean to with that being said there are some people who don't get the chance to just wake up go to the city take great photos or even travel to different cities to get photos they're having to deal with the small town that they live in and it got me thinking is it even possible to do urban or street photography in a tiny town so i had kara look up cities in tennessee that that are very, very small. I'm talking, you're in, driving about three minutes, and you're out. Super, super, super small towns. Kara found it. That city is Dayton, Tennessee. So me and the gang, we packed up, drove two and a half hours to Dayton, find ourselves in a very rural, small, tiny town. Town had character. It was cute, I guess, but there was just a strip, uh, maybe three or four intersections. That's it, super, super tiny. I really wanted to figure out, is it possible to do street photography in a rural town? Hopefully I can give other people that are watching that may be in a situation like this, some tips on how you can get great photography in a rural town, which I will because that's the title of the video and the whole point of the video. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, make sure to hit the like button. It helps the channel out a lot. Also, if you guys like what we do, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you also have any tips for people who live in rural areas, what can they do to make their photography step up to the next level? Also, let me know what type of photography you want me to do next. I think that's all I got. Sit back, relax, Dayton, Tennessee. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Am I forgetting anything? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Shout out Susan. No. Shout out Sue. Sue. All right. That's it. Okay. Bye. Friendship. I get the, the lunch, he gets the dinner, and then Bo Jangles comes and just fucks it up. First photo of the video. This is exciting. So, we're in Dayton. Uh, we're gonna go down across the city. It's not too big of a city, but we got interesting stuff. Like I see this building here. You know, the symmetry is nice. I don't really know. We're just gonna kind of look around, see. When you don't live near a big city, and this is really the only kind of city you got, like a rural, small town, but you really want to get into photography or street photography of that, this is a perfect example of 
Hi, how's it going? Good morning. Uh, nothing's gonna stop. Nothing should stop you from getting your foot in the door. Nothing should stop you from trying. So uh, we'll start with the 85 millimeter and we'll work our way down to the 35. Let's get some photos. Let's fucking do it. Let's make it happen. That's no photo. So you gotta make the simple things work. Like for me, something like this, just straight down alleyway. Nothing interesting, but if you shoot at just the right angle, edit it just right, it'll, you know, be something great. Something like this. Straight down, you got different layers of things happening. You got the truck, you got the boat, you got that. Beautiful, beautiful shit. Anything's possible. All right, onward. The Dayton, Tennessee. I'm already thinking, since this road's not busy, I'm gonna go ahead and get a straight down shot. Closed buildings, whole town shut down. All right. This is it. Just exploring Dayton, Tennessee. So I feel like if you live in a rural town, one big thing that you can do uh, especially if you've lived there your whole life, just get to know people that live in the town, shopkeepers and stuff, because then you can go inside, take pictures. Uh, people like us will probably have to go into places, take pictures until we get kicked out, so. Which I'm willing to do. Like, I don't even know what this business is, it just says open. Okay. So you know you live in a small town when you just, your business, you can just put up a sign like that. Took kids to park, be back soon. Kara, let's have you, let's have you walk across we turn into my mouth. just start walking across just so i can have some activity in the picture sick another tip find a model you know there are people that live everywhere and anybody can be a model as long as they're comfortable being on camera and with that comes great confidence of a photographer knowing what to tell somebody so find a model makes photos easy It's for rent. You're looking. I don't know how. But we went from the city to the suburbs. Yes. Look both ways. Careful. Do people care if you jaywalk in a small town? Because we've been doing a lot of that. <laughs> what? Chasing okay, walking. Walking. Yeah. No. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start going to some businesses, ask if we can take pictures. All right, let's find some open businesses. This is so sick. So it's like an art store. And there's people over there doing all that right now. Glass blown. It's beautiful. And it makes for great photos. So I'm gonna turn my side and check it out. Thank you. Bye, have a good one. Thank you. Another tip for rural photography, if you're really trying to get with the shit, guerrilla photography. For those who don't know what guerrilla photography is, it's taking pictures in places that you're not allowed to take pictures. Sometimes you just, you just do it. You see something, you see a picture, you wanna get it for the art, so you just go for it, just like that. Oh my God. You guys make your own ice cream? We do not make the ice cream. Where did he go? <laughs> Behind over here. Hey, come here. How do you do? You wanna buy some photographs? I got all types of photos. I got photos of heads. I got more photos of heads. A couple more shitty photos of heads. Tell me what you need. I got the photo for you. The low, 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 low price. 
of $4.99. Link in the description. Oh my God, the dog. <laughs> He's so handsome. <laughs> He's like, what is this? <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Look, that's your picture. Thanks, man. You guys have a good one. Biggest tip of all, fire hydrants are your best friend. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was the video. I hope you guys find these tips and tricks useful. Dayton, thank you for letting us use your city uh, without consent. That was bad. That sound bad? That, that sound sounds bad. a little bad. And thank you for letting us shoot up your city. Oh. <laughs> that sounds awful. So we're gonna go get drunk. So be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment what type of photography you want me to see, see do next. All right, see ya.